Hi everyone, my name is Francis Marville. I am a PhD student in quantitative and computational biology at the University of Montreal. Today I'm going to present three novel and complementary packages that I use in my research to analyze species interaction networks in Julia. These three packages were written and are maintained by my colleagues and lab members in response to the increasing need to handle data on species interactions in Julia. These packages are Mangle, Ecological Networks, and Ecological Networks Plus. Mangle is used to query data on all species interaction networks achieved on the Mangle API. Ecological networks can be used to simulate networks under a specified set of hypotheses and provides functions to compute all metrics commonly used by ecologists to analyze ecological networks. Finally, Ecological Networks Plus allows you to visualize these networks. Together, these packages provide a valuable methodological framework for the study of ecological networks in Julia. They all use a well-documented type system, which captures all types of data on species interactions. They are, however, part of a broader project in Julia, EcoJulia. This is an integrated environment for the analysis of special ecological data in Julia. The three packages that interest us today are compatible with all packages of EcoJulia but are the only ones that specifically handle data on species interactions. Speaking of which, what is a network of species interactions? In ecological, in ecological networks, every node typically represents a species, and every edge represents the interaction between two species. The interaction can be of various types, for example, predation or pollinization. So two species are connected if they interact. When we analyze their topology, we learn a lot about the functioning of our environment, and this can be helpful if we want to adequately understand and protect ecosystems. With this in mind, species interaction networks are complex, and we need a way to adequately store the data. Mangle, the open source database, was built in response to this need. It is among the most exhaustive databases on ecological networks containing 172 datasets and more than 1,300 networks of all types. The Mangle package is a wrapper around the API and is used to query data directly from this ecological networks database. It uses a type system in which objects are nested within one another. When, you, when we query an object, it will return all objects below. In consequence, we need to wait a bit longer to get our data, but they are complete. Speed up the process, it uses, it uses a caching mechanism in which objects are read from cache when needed. Mingle can also be used to count fundamental quantities of ecological networks, such as the number of nodes and the number of interactions in a network. This is super useful in ecology, because these two quantities are strongly linked together and are associated with other measures of network topology. We recently published a paper that revisited this relationship using all the sets achieved on Mingle. This is the code to conduct the number of species, to count the number of species and the number of interactions of our networks in Mangle. You can also see here an example of query. When we have queried the data, we might want to analyze them. And this is exactly one of the roles of our second package, ecological networks. I will not go through all functionalities of this package since my coworkers wrote a well-written paper on the matter, but basically, Ecological Networks stores data in a matrix format, the adjacency matrix. Every species has its row and or its column, and the value of the interaction from the row species to the column species is stored in the corresponding cell. The value is binary when we only consider the presence or absence of an interaction. It can also be quantitative if we are interested in the strength of the interaction. It can also be probabilistic if you're interested in the probability of two species interacting. Each of these possibilities has its own type in the package. But more, more precisely, the type system is also based on the partitness of networks. Some of them are unipartite, when the adjacency matrix is square, and row species are the same as the column species. And some of them are bipartite, when row species are different than the column species. So, ecological networks takes that into account, and we have six different types based upon the partitness and the interaction strength of a network. This is particularly useful to make sure that we use the correct measure when we analyze a network, that is, if we need to use deterministic or probabilistic measures. But before digging into network analysis, we might be interested in simulating networks, and this is exactly what our package can do. 
For example, here we have an original deterministic network that we converted into a prob probabilistic network using a specific neural model. We conducted random trials in order to have a distribution of networks under our neural model. This is often done in ecology in order to compare an empirical network to other networks generated under a neural model. To conduct this comparison, we can use one of the many functions provided by our package. All measures reported in this nearly exhaustive paper of Delma and colleagues are provided by our package. For probabilistic measures, most measures commonly used are derived in this paper, and every probabilistic measure is also included in our Julia package. Ecological network is thus built around state-of-the-art practices in network ecology. An example of deterministic measure is network modularity. A network highly modular is a network in which species interact closely with species inside the module, but poorly with other species. To compute the modularity, we typically use trial and errors and choose the number of modules and partition of species which maximize the modularity of the network. Our package provides the algorithm to do so. And this is the code to conduct the analysis. Here we generated 20 random partitions of the species across 3 to 12 modules and computed the modularity of each partition. Finally, to visualize a network, we can use our third and final package, Ecological Networks Plots. There are many ways to visualize a network using this package. For example, we can use a random layout and color a specific set of species and edges. We can also use a food web layout in which species are positioned according to their trophic level or position in the food chain. We can also visualize bipartite networks by differentiating one set of species from the other. In short, there are many different ways to visualize a network using the package Ecological Network Plots. To conclude, the two packages I presented to you today provide a useful methodological net framework for the study of ecological networks in Julia. Mengel is used to query data. Ecological networks is used to simulate and analyze networks. And Ecological Networks Plus is used to visualize these networks. This is part of a broader project, EcoJulia, for the analysis of ecological data in Julia. It will be my pleasure to answer your questions in the chat, and you can also join me by mail or Twitter if you prefer. Thank you very much.